we're going to explore how the mass in a bow affects its performance, particularly the mass in the limb tips and on the ends of the bow, how that affects the bow's performance overall. So this is an elm bow that's been fire hardened on the belly that I've had for a few years. These are the original specs on the bow. Notice the bow mass at 19.5. So the first thing that I did was begin to shave down the width of the tips. And I was able to do this because the tips of the bow, as you can see in the original picture, the tips of the bow are so stiff. So what I did was come in about about 12 inches from the tip and really narrow the tip down. Now, because the tip was so narrow, I had to make a knock to hold the string. And here I'm showing using deer rawhide, how you can make a knock for the tip of the bow, because obviously there's so much mass removed on the tip, we can't carve a knock directly into the wood to hold the string and there's really not enough wood there to use a pin knock either when we're using a traditional string. So here we've just folded the rawhide tab over and we're going to lash it down and where the fold is at the top the fold will be bent out slightly and that fold at the top is going to form a tab that will hold the bowstring in place. We narrowed the crap out of the tips it was shooting 109. There's like no mass on the tips now. One third. Pretty impressed. By running this test, we've shown that you can take the same bow and just by reducing the mass at the tips, greatly increase its performance. So the bow started out at 19.5 ounces. After removal of mass at the tips, it dropped down to 17 ounces. 109 feet per second initially with the same string. Then we shot after removal of mass at the tips, 130 feet per second. It was a 20 feet per second difference in performance just by removing mass at the limb tips. All that mass at the tips was doing was slowing the bow down. We lost nothing in draw weight and gained almost 20 feet per second. That is going to maximize the efficiency of your primitive weapon. So keep that in mind next time you set out to build a bow. Take this concept and apply it and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I hope this works out for you guys. I hope you get a chance to experiment with it. Thanks for joining me on this journey, and I've got more to come. Happy hunting, guys.